Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at the difference between system image recovery and system restore. And while we're at it, we'll take a look at the rollback feature and what the difference is here. So your rollback feature is built into Windows and you have 10 days to roll back to the previous build. So a rollback is going to go back to a previous Windows version without the latest updates. Your operating system will keep uh, getting updates and upgrades from time to time. And sometimes they may be inconvenient for you or may not work out very well. And you may want to roll back. Maybe you've got issues with that particular update or upgrade and you want to go back. And what you can do is use the rollback feature. Now, I've covered this in a previous video, but this only has 10 days. You can extend it to a maximum of 60. It used to be 30 by default, but now Microsoft have made it 10 days. After 10 days, that rollback feature will cease to exist. It will gray out and you won't be able to use it. And also Windows will automatically delete your windows.old folder, which is built into Windows here when you do a upgrade. This is a feature upgrade that you've done and it will have the windows.old inside here which can consume quite a lot of space. Now, if you use any sort of cleaning programs like C Cleaner or uh, Bleachbit or any of those types of programs, it will remove the Windows.old folder. In that case, you will not be able to roll back and use the rollback feature, which is built into Windows, um, because you've now deleted the uh, previous version of Windows, which was stored in that Windows.old uh, folder. So you have to be very, very careful uh, when using uh, something like this. So that is the Windows rollback feature. Now, we all know that uh, some advantages to using the feature upgrades is to fix a lot of bugs and improve the user experience. But unfortunately, there is always a risk of uh, data loss or you may have an issue with some sort of uh, problem with your like your mouse, your graphics or you may have some other issues known to that latest version of upgrade from Microsoft. So bear all that in mind before you start running a feature upgrade on your operating system. You may want to hold back a little bit before doing those upgrades. Now, if you want to know how long you have for your rollback, you can check inside your command prompt. And I did a video on this the other day. If you put this command in, it will tell you how many days you have. So you do do only have 10 days by default, but you can extend this to 60, which I would recommend you do because it's important that you do this as soon as possible. That way uh, you have a 60 day period to roll back if you're having issues with your operating system after you've upgraded using the feature upgrade. That's important. If you only have the 10 day period and you're having issues, then you won't be able to roll back and you'll have to then reinstall Windows and you have to get an older version uh, to make that work. So let's talk about the system image recovery now, which is built into Windows. You can see there is a version here to say backup and restore Windows 7. That is because a lot of the code for this has been designed for Windows 7 and they're still using it in Windows 11. So system image recovery is based on a system image. A system image is an exact copy of the drive by default, which is your Windows when you created a system image of your hard drive and saved it in a safe location, i.e. another partition, another uh, drive, or another external drive, or something like that. Usually, an external hard drive or DVDs, which used to be used back in the day, was used to make a uh, system image recovery. If your computer ever experiences major problems or failure, you can use this system image to restore the entire contents of your hard drive, including your operating system, applications, settings, user data, and documents, pictures, music, and videos, and all that sort of good stuff. It will go back exactly at the time of when you uh, made that system image. So that is the importance of a system image recovery. It's an exact copy of what you did when you created that system image. Now, obviously, uh, if it was six months later 
and you've installed a load of programs and made loads of changes to that system, those would be lost because it wouldn't be in that system image recovery unless you added or updated it as you went on. So if you left it as it is when you first created it six months previous, it would only go back to that six months previous um, time. Now we might as well cover file history here. File history saves all copies of your files so you can get them back if uh, you uh, basically have to reinstall your data and stuff like that. You can actually use file history. You can turn this feature on and it will create a backup of your files and data. And then basically it will just copy those back um, to your computer. So let's talk about uh, system restore. Now system restore is a completely different uh, thing altogether. System restore will automatically create restore points or snapshots of your system and what it's going to do is it will take a, a snapshot of a particular point in time so if something goes wrong you can restore your system and the uh, snapshots will uh, you be able to choose from one of those snapshots uh, which you created so if you can see here it let you choose a restore point and basically these restore points uh, will be uh, set in time for when you uh, took a, a restore point and it could be loads of them. So depending on what you did, you'll be restoring the computer back to that particular time. And it could be just before you installed a driver or just before uh, you did a virus scan. Uh, uh, maybe you just removed some malware. It would be before or after that period. And this would take snapshots of that particular uh, time. The problem with this is uh, it's basically allowing you to restore the system back to a time of state when it was uh, working at an earlier time. So all of the information will be lost when you go back, whether that would be programs that you've installed or whether that will be some sort of changes you've made. They will not be on that computer when you go back in time to that previous snapshot because obviously there has been changes uh, since that time. And by default, this is off now. Uh, Microsoft have disabled this by default and you would have to re-enable uh, System Restore uh, to use that feature. Now again, you can choose what methods you like. Uh, there is a big difference between all of these. I was reading some comments in the comments section about using a System Restore point rather than rollback, but they are all completely different options and they all uh, have different uh, side effects to them if you are rolling back a system or you're using system restore points or you're using a system image recovery. So some of the pros and cons are going to be different for each of these uh, options. So for instance, the system image recovery, uh, these uh, generally require a large capacity hard drive to store the system images on your computer. So you would need quite a lot of space to store different images for different times. And uh, this is one of the downfall of the system image recovery. Uh, the system restore uh, pros and cons for those really would be um, you don't need vast amounts of extra storage space, but you do end up losing a lot of uh, settings and programs and things like that, because when you roll back, it will remove any programs that you had installed on that system. And basically, you would lose a lot of those things. And a lot of people don't like that sort of uh, thing. So just depending on which one uh, you choose. Now, obviously, the rollback would be a completely different thing. You would lose quite a lot of stuff because it's rolling back to a previous time. And everything from that point when you upgraded, it will go back to that time. So anything after that fact would be lost. So you always want to make sure you back up all your data before you use any of these methods because obviously never rely on Microsoft to use their, uh, their backing up and then reinstalling all of your data. Always use your own uh, ways of backing up and restoring just in case something goes wrong. Anyway, just to answer some of your questions, uh, the microphone I'm using now is not of the same quality. I've mentioned this before. It's going to be like this for a few weeks until uh, all of the work has been done around my home and then I'll be able to get back to creating normal content. So you'll just have to bear with the bad audio, I'm afraid, until uh, the work has been completed, and then I get my uh, my office back. 
And that is the reason why the audio has been a bit tinny or a bit uh, bad in in some videos. So you just have to bear with me until that has been uh, resolved. Anyway, that is going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And that is another thing I want to quickly mention is a lot of people have been saying that, that they haven't seen their name up on the end credits. And the reason for that is because sometimes I am uh, working out of a, a hotel room, which doesn't have all of my settings and all of my other stuff. So obviously, unfortunately, I can't always add in the end credits or the outro or even uh, anything like that, my logo. So you just have to bear with me, I'm afraid. I'm very, very sorry, but hopefully everything will be back to normal uh, very soon. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now. Thank you.